Hello and welcome here on barfusslauten.tv. My name is Thorsten Ludwig. I'm the founder and the owner of Sorana Barefoot Shoes. And today I would like to give a small update to a very successful boot. The name is Amari. We have this boot since a while in our range, but we changed a little bit. It received a little update, so to speak, and I would like to inform you about this update. As always, we start from the bottom. And we have here our 4 plus 2 millimeter outsole. We have a 4 millimeter outsole plus 2 millimeter of profile. And of course, the outsole is additionally stitched. All of our kit shoes has the same width. We have a white cut on all of our shoes. But we have to consider here that this is a warm lining shoe. The shoe is a winter shoe, it's a warm lining shoe, it's a very nice viscose polyester material. The inner lining is a little bit thicker than a normal lining or a leather lining or other lining, which is not winter related and therefore you have to calculate that this inner lining, which is warm, takes off a little bit of the volume of the shoe. Maybe you should not add only 12 millimeters, maybe you should add 50 millimeters, but make your calculation and you will make it right. I have two more aspects for the inner lining. Number one, as always, with all our, let's say, more sporty shoes, we have a second or we have an insole. Uh, you can take this insole, leave it out or put it in the shoe, depending what the kit needs. And that's what I said, the second, this is a special thing for this shoe. This shoe has a, a warm six millimeter lining. It's in this boot. And additionally, we have in the box these uh, insoles. The shoe will be closed with laces and we have this stopper here. So also kit feet can easily open and close this, uh, this laser. There is no binding necessary. This uh, boot has a water tongue. The reason for the water tongue is when water comes from the upper, when uh, water comes here from, from the top of the boot, it does not drain immediately inside the shoe. So it will not so easy for water, dry, moisture, rain or whatever to come inside the shoe. Now I would like to talk about the water resistance. Therefore we make our water resistant test. And as you could see, I put some drops here on the upper material and it stays perfectly. It stays uh, perfectly. It doesn't drain. And nevertheless, you should maintain the shoe. You should care the shoe. You can create, you can polish the shoe with a, with a shoe cream, with a shoe polish. Uh, you should use black, of course. You can also use a wax, wax spray or a wax polish. And of course, you, you, you can use our spray. Our spray uh, is um, it's a very sustainable spray. It's PVC free. Uh, the upper material is, is recycled material. It uh, doesn't have any gas, it's just liquid. Um, so it's, it's very nice. I think it's, I don't know, in Euro, 10 euros or so. And uh, this is really good for maintaining water, re water resistance for this upper material. That's for now. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you would like to get more information like this or you want to get a reminder when I upload some no more videos, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell and then you get automatically an information when the a new video will be uploaded. Thank you for now and see you next time. Bye bye.